Hey Home Raisers, welcome to this video where you get to see the little colt running around in the field for the first time, as well as we need to come up with a name for this little right, guy. Running and so doing it's so fun thing. to see him booting around the arena. He basically has a smaller pen that we put in, in at nighttime with his mom, Bunny. And it's do you think she's just happy pen. to be it's out of the little pen? The predators, or do you think she's nervous? And it's got a full shelter. And then there's this area, which is basically our outdoor sand ring with a little grass area at the side. And so he gets a really nice, Looks like nice, she's trying to figure flat, out how to get back into the other part of the to run but around. And then there's also a lot you don't of grass go in there. that That's not your field well. anymore. And just kind of enjoy stretching her legs. So it kind of gives them the best of both worlds. And uh, when he's a little bit older, we're going to move him to a field where he can um, go and enjoy being out in a bigger space full time. But for now, this is a, a great kind of setup for them. And you can see Bunny's really enjoying running around. And what's really interesting is she keeps going back to that gate that was over in the corner. And she actually had her baby or her foal out in that obstacle arena over there because she was out eating grass there that day. And uh, interesting to see that she wants to go back out there. And you can see her friend's secrets on the other side. So I'm not sure if part of this is her being excited to be back kind of on her old turf, so to speak. And there's a bunch of us just kind of standing around watching. We're definitely not chasing them in any way, shape, or form, trying to make them move. We're just enjoying watching them move and run around. It's so great to see how sure-footed the little colt is because this is, um, I think this is on day two of being only two days old and he's out running around on the grass and it's so amazing how they come out so fully formed able to run around like in comparison to let's say baby puppies or kittens that don't even have their eyes open or baby humans that um definitely do not walk for like a year until after birth and then there's this little guy who can run around on day one and it's so impressive it's so incredible how nature's a little bit different and i just love watching horses in their natural environment um, seeing how they interact and what they do and it's so adorable to see all the little things that he's doing like you see his mom eating the grass and then he's trying to eat the grass and he gets his nose tickled by the little uh, weeds and things like that and he has a pee which is normal and this is his sire so if you're gonna come up with some name ideas it's always cool to involve some of the sire information so his dad's name is keeping it awesome and you can see in his pedigree there he comes from a lot of the zippo um, pine line which is good for pleasure type horses so he is going to be a registered america quarter horse american quarter horse aqha and his mom, Bunny, she has registration papers as well. And so her registered name is Major Little Lily. And she comes from, you can see there's the Peppy Lena on the one side. And on the other side, there's like the Little Ropers. So she comes more from a reigning ranch versatility background. Whereas her, whereas the Colt's dad comes from more of pleasure trail and even hunter under saddle or hunter type uh, pedigree so really he's he's got what it takes to be an all-around type horse that's pretty versatile and that's really why I chose to breed uh, keeping it awesome to bunny as I thought between him being 16 hands which is quite tall so yes this little colt looks tall some people have been like are they really usually that big like he's still considered like a a normal size but he's definitely on the taller side of things for first being born but his his sire, his dad, is um, 16 hands, whereas Bunny is about 14.3 hands. So Bunny's a little more on the smaller, compact side of quarter horses. And that's because a lot of the reigning cowbred type quarter horses are shorter, like they're usually under 15 hands. But I much prefer a quarter horse that's between 15 and 16 hands. I love like a 15.2 hand quarter horse. They're... Um, a great size for most types of riders they're a good size for doing a little bit of jumping they can really do kind of a little bit of everything and yet they're not too big to do the versatility the ranch the obstacles all that kind of stuff and it's a uh, funny here bunny pins her ears at an adult who was sitting there and you could tell that the adult got up to get out of the way because um, they were just sitting there you know just watching because that's what we're doing is just watching and bunny it can be very protective of her babies you'll see some interesting footage in a minute where she allows my kids to be around her full 
but not necessarily um, the other adults, which is kind of interesting. And it's so cute to see him uh, really get up to speed. Like he just gets running around. He loves running on the flat ground in the sand part of the ring. He doesn't really run out on the grass and you'll see a clip in a little bit. Like here he's running out onto the flat ground to go play, experimenting with his little lead changes there. But you'll see he doesn't really do that on the grass area. It's kind of interesting. You'll see a little clip towards the end, what I'm talking about there. And he gets both his right and his left leads. Um, so he seems very balanced, which is fantastic. So he's going to be well suited to doing who like pretty much anything, a little bit of everything. And size wise, I think he's going to work out um, perfectly. Like there you can see he kind of cantered onto the grass and then stopped to sniff the roses. And then here you can see he walks pretty carefully because it's kind of on a hill. It's not just on grass, but there's like a bit of a hill involved, but he walks carefully over to his mama. And here he is uh, going off to do this adorable little canter. And he spends a lot of time trying to get his mom to go for a run too. And I bet, poor bunny, she's probably like, dude, like I need to eat. And uh, he'll stop and nurse, but he just loves having a good boogie around. And bunny is like, oh, I have to keep up with you. And he's just having a grand old time. You can see he's really running around, getting a, a good rip going, does some beautiful flying lead changes where he'll switch his leading legs from left to light left sorry to right which means that he's got a lot of great versatility there so here's kind of cute because bunny ran down the hill and he's like no i don't want to run on the grass i'm going to stay in the sand ring but he's looking at his mom that's over there and then here's a little clip of my daughter is petting him and bunny is okay with that she's just eating the grass and she's like okay the little human can pet my little one and that's okay as long as evie's being you know nice and then here's another little clip of uh, Evie wanting to go up and pet the little baby again. So we're having a little talk about, you know, watching horses body language and making sure that Bunny's okay. And we're looking for the, the ears from Bunny. And I told her to stop and put her hand out, uh, but it turned into raising her hand. And you can see there's a moment where Bunny's like, what are you doing? But for whatever reason, the baby's just like, yeah, the, the little person is allowed to pet me. So uh, she ends up being allowed to pet. And then this is my other little one where I said, why don't you try running over the jump to see if you can get the baby to try to run over the jump. And so my kids have a good time with uh, doing that. Here's a cute little clip of Bunny going for a roll. And you can see the little colt is like, what are you doing, mama? So I'd love to see your name ideas in the comments and see what you come up with. Remember to subscribe and check out HarmonyHorsemanship.com for even more learning.